This is amazing. Check this out. Behold the modern human captured in its natural habitat, the enigmatic home office. In this image, we see an individual sitting in front of a camera, likely engaging in a video call or recording a message. I created my own voice clone. Not only that, my voice is narrating using GPT-4 vision. How can you create your own voice cloning using Eleven Labs? And how can you make it narrate for your own visuals using GPT-4 vision? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about voice cloning using Eleven Labs and narration using GPT-4 vision. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos on my YouTube channel in regards to artificial intelligence. So do subscribe and stay tuned. Coming to voice cloning and narration, the first step, git clone github.com slash cbh123 slash narrator and click enter. Next, navigate to that folder. Next, conda create hyphen and narrator python equals 3.11 to create a virtual environment. Next, conda activate narrator and click enter. That activates the virtual environment. Next, pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and click enter. This will install the required package. Next, export your OpenAI API key like this which you can generate from OpenAI website. Next, export your 11 Labs API key like this, which you can generate from 11labs.io website. Here, you can click the icon at the top, then click the profile. There, you can copy the API key. Next, go back to your terminal, enter your API key like this with 11 Labs API key and click enter. Next, we need 11 Labs voice ID. To generate a voice ID, you need to go back to 11 Labs. In the voice lab section at the top, Click the voice lab section. Here you can clone a voice. Click add button, instant voice cloning. Click that. First you can provide a name, then upload an audio which you recorded yourself. I'm uploading my own audio here. Then you can add labels and description if you want. Tick this box, I hereby confirm I have all necessary rights and consent to upload and clone these voice samples. So you need to have rights to clone. Otherwise it will be illegal or fraudulent or harmful purpose. Next, add voice. Once after you click that, you can see it's cloning my voice. Then you can get the ID from here. As soon as you hover that, you can see the voice ID. You can even click that to copy the voice ID. Once that is copied, go back to your terminal and enter the voice ID and click enter. After exporting OpenAI API key, 11 Labs API key and 11 Labs voice ID, now we can open this directory in VS Code or any code editor. I'm in VS Code now. I can see two main files. One is capture.py. Another one is narrator.py. Capture captures image every two seconds and that saves in the frames folder. In the narrator, this generates a narration and also use your cloned voice generates text to audio. One small change you need to make in the capture.py file, you need to make sure the video capture device is the right one. If you have only one webcam in your computer, then this should work fine. But in some case, you might have few other cameras attached. In my case, I'm going to change it to two. Now I'm opening two terminals. In one terminal, I'm going to run python capture.py and click enter. This will start capturing your images and will save that in the frames folder, which you can see here, frame.jpg. You can see my image there. Now on the other terminal, I'm typing python narrator.py and click enter. Make sure you export your OpenAI key and 11 labs key and voice ID in this before running these commands. Now you can see the narration start coming, but you are not able to listen to audio. This should work in most of the cases, but in some case, if you can't hear voice, there's a slight modification you might need to change. In your terminal, pip install play sound. And then you, if you go to the narrator.py file, the play.audio, which is derived from the 11 labs play, should play the audio by default. But maybe because it's in the beta stage or it's in the early stage, it is not able to play, but sometime it might play. So I'm going to use instead of that from play sound, import play sound. Next, I'm going to come to the play audio function. There below the play audio, I'm going to type play sound and the file path, a small change. And in the main function, I'm going to change this to Mervin Prison, Mervin. That's it. And now we're going to run this in your terminal. Python narrator.py and click enter. Seems like I need to install one more package, pi object C. Pip install pi object C and click enter. It got installed. I'm going to run that file again. Mervin Prison is watching. 
Ah, here we observe a fascinating specimen of Homo sapiens in its natural habitat, the modern office space. Look at the magnificent way this creature is perched upon its chair, displaying a posture of utmost concentration, or is it perplexity? That's it. To take you through the code how it's working, first up the capture.py file captures image every two seconds and saves in the frames folder. The narrator.py file, first up it reads the image frame.jpg and it encodes the image and it analyzes the image. This is where it converts your image to a narration using GPT-4 vision. And then it's playing audio. This will convert your narration to audio using 11 laps. And finally it's playing. That's it, as simple as that. Now you can create your own voice clone and make it to narrate for you. I'm going to create more videos like this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.